S S N Squid Shadows was revealed by Ubisoft and just like any other time the cinematic trailer looks incredible but it is still a Ubisoft game and asking for a pre-order while showing no gameplay is fishy. So in this video, I wanted to talk about things I found on the internet about the game and the gameplay. This is not a I hate Ubisoft video, so if you're looking for that, you can click it off. I will only be looking at things that were revealed in the interviews and the articles. You probably might have heard about these things or you probably haven't. So watch the video, let me know your opinions in the comments. The synchronization? Gone. You will still have the points to fast travel but no more 360 camera panning nor it will highlight any points of interest. You will need to survey and mark the points of interest by yourself manually which according to Ubisoft will encourage the players to explore Japan. Well, I can only decide how this change feels when the game comes out. The bird you control to scope the area and mark enemies is also gone which for me is fine. You will still have eagle vision. Light sources and shadows will play a major role in stealth gameplay which is obvious as the title itself is shadows. And the weather will also play an important role in gameplay. I'm not sure sure about this one but it would be good to see the environment change seasons. Assassin's Creed Shadows will be more of an RPG style of Assassin's Creed game, more like origins and terms of scale and size. Personally, I like the linear style of gameplay focused mainly on storyline but honestly speaking, I played the whole Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I enjoyed that type of game style as well. There were times that it felt too long or too grindy but there were also good moments so if they reduce the length of the game and make it less grindy, I wouldn't mind this type of Assassin's Creed. We can play the game as two characters Naoe and Yasuke similar to what Syndicate had with Fry Twins. Both games were developed by Ubisoft Quebec so we will definitely see some similarities to Syndicate which for me is good because I liked Syndicate and I personally enjoyed the gameplay. The woman Shinobi Naoe which is focused on stealth similar to Eevee Fry and the Samurai Yasuke which is combat forward play style similar to Jacob Fry and the dual protagonist game style helps keep the contrast and make the gameplay less repetitive. We will probably see two skill trees for both characters similar to what Syndicate had or Spider-Man 2 or Alan Wake 2 etc. Stealth in this gameplay also had inspiration from Splinter Cells with light sources playing a key role. Now we can snuff out light sources to create dark areas. Now we can go prone, a first for the series and a rare treat in stealth games. There's a grappling hook, the swinging kind not the zipline kind that makes the parkour more fun. As for Yasuke, he will be able to cut through about anything in the world that's not nailed down and he can bury counter enemies for quick kills. He can destroy enemy armor by repeated strikes and I would also like a good katana gameplay. I wouldn't expect it to be as good as Ghost of Tsushima but something similar you know. At last the weather system seems promising as they mentioned. Not will the environment change but the enemy pattern and behavior will also change. But that's coming from you. Ubisoft and we can only judge after seeing it in action. The game and the talk seems very promising but with Ubisoft track record, I am not having high expectations. Anyway, that's it for now and we'll talk more after the demo drops in June. Until then, thanks for watching. Peace. Sayonara. Bye bye.